Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LTG playthrough. And this time I am playing the third scenario from the Angmar Awakened campaign box, and it is the Deadman's uh, Dyke scenario. Always saying Pike, but it's Dyke. And uh, we are playing with the same decks as before in this series. Um, I am playing the Dunedain and the Elves from the Angmar Awakened Hero Expansion uh, box and uh, using the cards I have from Core set and all of the starter sets and the Angmar Awakened Hero Expansion. And uh, I did some minor changes to the uh, pre-built starter decks, so let's look at the decks quickly before we start. Okay, and here is the Dunedain of Angmar Awaken from uh, ringsdb.com uh, site. Uh, so, uh, nothing special, I won't go into detail I will, uh, of the deck composition, but basically this is the starter with minor changes. Uh, added some cards here and there, changed the ends out and uh, all that stuff. And... Uh, yeah, nothing really special to say. This is the main fighting deck of this uh, pair uh, and will help in questing a bit when we have enemies engaged with uh, Halbarad and uh, stuff like that. Aragorn will pull enemies off of the elves, etc. And uh, yeah, nothing that special to say about this deck. So next up, let's look at the elves deck. And here are the elves, and again, uh, just uh, removed the ends from these starter decks, added some cards from here and there, just to, um, for example, adding the Elrond Council events, just to keep my threat low, so that the Dunedain can engage uh, those uh, enemies that spawn, and not the elves. The elves can pick one here and there and keep them until the Dunedain are able to deal with that. But yeah, basically uh, questing a lot, uh, healing some, etc. So uh, again, I will post these uh, links, uh, I will post the links to these decks into the video description if you're more interested. But that is all I wanted to say about the decks. So we are basically uh, set up and ready to begin. So last thing I will do before we start, I will uh, do the flip here so that we do the when revealed effect here. So each player must search the encounter deck and uh, for a baleful shade and put it in play engage with them. Shuffle the encounter deck and reveal one encounter card for it per each player. So we'll search those there's one, there's one, then we shuffle, and we are ready to begin after this. So we'll draw our opening hands, and then start the game. Okay. We reveal another Hornos Square, and Norbury Tombs. So two locations we look about uh, look at those a bit more closely later on but that is the setup done and we are ready to begin so let's get started okay and we are ready to start the scenario or the quest so first off uh, we will draw our opening hands so one two three four five six cards let's see uh, we get um, Steward of Gondor, which is good. Gandalf, which is okay. Ranger of Cardolan, which will be probably good. Veteran Axe and uh, Ranger Provisions and Steward of Gondor times two. So we can just uh, ditch the other Steward for Eowyn later. So I'm keeping this hand because Steward is such a powerful card to get right from the get-go. Then uh, we'll draw the elves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, double back, silver harp, 
Elven Light, Elven Council, Galadriel Sand Maiden, and Elven Jeweler. So looking good. We'll keep this. And also. So uh, we start the Dunedain turn, so we get resources. Just add the resources, we draw the card, so we draw Snowboard Scout, that is okay. Uh, we don't draw anything from there, but we draw one for the elves, another Elven Jeweler. So uh, let's con uh, begin by playing the Steward. I will, as an action, exhaust the Steward to gain two resources. Then I uh, will play Snowborn Scout. We we'll put one progress on to one of these. Uh, maybe we want to. Let's see. So, uh, Northbury Tombs. Uh, while Northbury Tombs is the active location, it gains response when Northbury Tombs is explored. Each player shuffles the top of cards of their discard pile back into their deck. Return the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile to the state. So we want to travel here because the travel penalty isn't that bad because we don't have any enemies in the discard pile yet. Okay, then that, that costs one and we'll play Ranger Provisions on, on that location. So that is, um, I'll actually keep these two here, closer to me, I don't have to reach all the time. And uh, I think that's everything the Dunedine will play, we'll go, uh, actually, let's not play the Ranger Provisions. Uh, I can use tactics resources, so I will play Veteran Axe Hand instead, using those two. <coughs> and that is everything the Dunedain will play. Uh, we'll go to the Elves. Uh, I will play... Let's see. We'll play the Double Back. Uh, we want to reduce the threat, and that will boost the Arion. We'll play Silver Harp. And we'll uh, discard a card from our hand to give a resource to Arwen. And we'll exhaust the silver harp to not discard that card. Oh no, let's do that later. Because now we'll want to play uh, this from our discard, draw a card. And the next round unexpected courage will be really good. Then I will play Elrond's Council. So I will give plus one. Uh, to Erwin and reduce my threat by 3. So 27 and 32. Okay, and uh, let's go questing. I think that's everything we wanted to play or can play. So, questing. Uh, I will quest with these two. And uh, Alvarad will help. And we actually decide to go double back. Or we'll actually do that later. So we have uh, one, two, three, four against uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
four against ten. Uh, five against ten, and that's the current quest. Bounces condition attachment. When there's the cards increased, it's cost by one if there is a card that has the same title as under this card. So unfortunately, we didn't have the double back. So this actually attaches to the quest. It would have attached to the side quest if it would have been an active occasion, but unfortunately no. Okay, well, we probably want to just defeat these enemies, so let's see. We had 12 again. Uh, so, uh, 3, 5, 8, uh, 11, uh, no, uh, 8, 10 against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and sorcery. Uh, yeah, nothing. So, 10 against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 progress placed over here, then we'll travel here. Okay, so we travel, return the topmost enemy in the encounter, discard file to the staging area. Well, no enemies in there, so we just travel there. Then uh, we'll go uh, start fighting, so we'll engage this. And that is it, so uh, we pick defenders. We'll defend with the Snowboard Scout, and I will defend with uh, Holborod. Then I will defend with Arwen. And that's Defenders. We deal cards here. We don't start from this side, so... This was against the Snowborn Scout, so 3 plus exhaust the character of control, we exhaust the axe hand. Okay, and it deals 3, so this is defeated. Then uh, we check this against Alborad, no shadow effect, so no damage. Then we will check this, so 2 plus uh, it is 3 against 2 so uh, I forgot to do this uh, when this attacks, so we discard one card and it gets 2 plus 2, so we actually took 2 damage here that sucks here, the same thing, we have to discard a card, it's not an enemy or, or an ally, so we don't boost by two, so we take uh, one damage here. Okay, that's the enemy attacks done now, the Dunedain will attack, and... Uh, uh, this has defense of one, so... We'll defeat that. Okay, so Iarion will defeat this guy. These will uh, Aragorn and uh, Amart will will defeat this guy and we'll grab this guy over here. And that is everything. So we'll go to upkeep. We ready up. Oh yeah, and uh, these get plus one resources. I'll just use these because the first player had to discard cards. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> now uh, we have to, at the end of the round, or at the end of the refresh phase, do this. We have to discard a card 
top part of their deck. So uh, we we'll place more tokens on these. Okay. Okay, well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Well, that was a long turn, but hopefully this is a bit shorter. So we start with the resource base. Uh, adding resources here. I'll just immediately use the steward to actually three here. Okay, uh, we draw cards for both players. Paint is good. And Elven Light is good. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, what do we want to do? I'll discard Aaron Elven Light to give uh, Arwen one resource. I'll play Unexpected Courage. I will play Elven Light from my discard. Draw one card. Athelas, uh, we need a healer. Badly. Well, okay, I think that's everything we can play at this moment with the elves at least. And uh, the Dunedain will play. I will play the Ranger Provisions. Need a lot more resources for the elves this round after this round. Then I will. <coughs> uh, I'll actually play this. So did I pay for the? Okay, so. Mm, I think I didn't pay for the. Okay, I yeah I, I forgot I can use Aragon's resources and I don't need to paint this round. There's so few enemies. Okay, well, uh, that is everything. We'll go to questing. You have an enemy in gate, so Halbarad will help with quest. Oh, yeah, um, I will heal one damage off of Halbarad. So, Halbarad helps with questing. That is two. All the uh, elves, <coughs> the, all the elf side will quest, so that is ten. So, twelve. Then, uh, Iarion will quest, and we will actually double back. So Iarion will also quest by 2, so 14, against, uh, those are 6, 7, uh, when revealed put each copy of Cursed Dead in the discard pile into the staging area, so damn it, we just got rid of that guy, and uh, Dark Sorcery, uh, Doom 2, so this race 2. When revealed, uh, each player discards and each ally they control that has the same title as card in their discard pile. I don't have any of those. Okay, so that whiffed, but gave to Doom at least. Okay. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, I'm using this to count my questing. <laughs> It, it helps. I'm, I'm forgetful with that number. So we have 14, uh, uh, 6, 7, 8. So we are up by 8. That is just not enough. So uh, we'll discard Stuart to boost uh, Eowyn by 1. And uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, so I forgot to mark this as question. Okay, so that is enough to defeat this. Well, actually we don't need, even need to discard that because there was already one here, so we all uh, only need nine and we uh, we need eight and we had eight. So Ranger Provisions triggers. Uh, Ranger Provisions after it at its location it is explored. The first player adds one resource to each the, of their hero's resource pools. So that is a good boost for the elves. Then uh, this goes 
Uh, so it goes to the victory display. Then uh, we reduce each player's threat by 5. So the elves are at 23. And the Dunedain are at 30. And uh, then uh, we'll travel to this location. We'll grab this and this. And uh, now we'll ignore this one. So it engages the, this side. <coughs> Actually, no, we'll grab it when we'll ready up with the unexpected courage. And uh, then uh, we'll deal these shadow cards. And uh, I will defend with. Uh, Mm. Let's think. Well, I'll defend it, Arwen. Yeah. So actually, uh, let's back up the healing that I did earlier, so we actually rather hear Ar Arwen than uh, Alvarad, so I'll, I'll back up that just that bit. Uh, we'll <coughs> reveal the Shadow God here. Discard an attachment to control, I think the Silver Harp is not that needed. So we take one damage. I was afraid <laughs> I would kill Arwen here if I get a bad boost uh, Shadow card. On this side, uh, I will defend with Amar to will and the axe hand. So uh, we'll check the axe hand first. So this two plus zero and the defense of one will take one damage. And we have to see if it gets plus one. It was uh, uh, ranger provisions, so we didn't uh, boost the attack here. So that's okay then here. Uh, discard the top three cards of your deck, attacking enemy gets plus one for each different card type discarded. That is bad. So, ally, ally, and event, so plus two. So we end up taking, uh, this is three, five against three, so we take two damage. That, that is not good. But we can now hit back, so we will, um, so this will defeat this, Aragorn and uh, Halbarad will defeat this, and we'll grab this over here. Slowly we are getting this thing under control, uh, that is the combat done, we'll go to refresh phase, we Add threat, move it this, and we have to discard cards, so we lose an Northern Tracker, which we would have wanted, and another Stuart of Wonders. Oh no, biggie. But uh, we'll add resources on these cards. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add resources. One and I'll use this. Oh yeah, we forgot to refresh everything. I'll just keep the steward exhausted. Okay, so those are the ranger resources, then the elves. And uh, then um, we draw cards. So Faramir, that's good. And Galhardrim Healer, that's really good. We immediately want to play Galhardrim. 
Grim Healer. So we'll, yeah, we'll start from this side, of course. So we'll play Faramir. We keep the this card for the paint if we need if we need to uh, not let somebody attack. Then the elves uh, we discard one card to get a resource onto Arwen. We'll play Galadrim Healer. So response after Galadrim Healer and just play choose a player heal one damage from each hero controlled by that player. And I'll choose these. Then I will use the last resource to heal Arwen. Then I will play Galadrim Handmaid, uh, Galadriel's Handmaiden. I will uh, choose a player that player reduce the threat by one. I'll choose the Dunedain and. Uh, We'll play one Elven Jeweler also. Then I will play this from my discard. Draw a card. Okay. Uh, a test of will. I would have maybe wanted to have one resource for that, but it is what it is. Okay, that is uh, the planning phase done. We'll go to questing. We will quest with all of the elves. Uh, actually, do we want to quest that much? Yet. Do we want to build up one more turn? I think it, it's more important to try to rush this, so we'll... We'll quest. I'll actually... Leave Glorfindel up if we need to fight. That's good. And we can quest it Halbarad. So we have two, five, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen against four. Um, The same sorcery, search, power of Angmar, search, cards in each player's discard pile, cannot leave the discard, player's discard pile by player card's effect, so that, that sucks for the elves, and search, uh, haunted keep, and the second card, so a lot of searching going on. Uh, turn to little damned. Uh, so the total is 1, 4, 3, 7 against 13. So we defeat this. I mean, <clears throat> this is 4, 7, 10 against 4. So we just defeated that, and that is everything. And uh, I will actually discard one card to boost Eowyn and another card to boost Eowyn. So we'll get two progress onto this. Because we want to advance it at some point. And uh, I will go to encounter phase. So we'll grab this. Mm -hmm. Then I will. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I didn't want to use Faramir there. No point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would have advanced this too early. Okay. Well, um, we'll go to the combat phase. So. We will paint. Uh, no, no, 
speed wall. So this wall depends against this one. So after turning the damage engages, you discard the top two cards of your deck and assign X damage among characters you control. Five. Damn you, Gandalf. And sneak attack. So six. That is just stupidly powerful if you hit Gandalf. Mm. So five, six damage. Um, I think Atalas will be played soon enough, so I will put four on Aragorn. I can heal every all the damage from Aragorn and on to the Ranger here. Okay, and uh, attack is discard the top three cards of the king player. So one, two, three. Another feint, Faramir and Ranger of Gardalan. So plus two attack, which doesn't matter because this just is defeated. Either way. Then uh, I will defend three. I will defend with Yarion. A bit risky, but I have a uh, plus three. Uh, I have plus two defense and four hit points, so three, nothing. So take one damage on Yarion. Then we get to attack. So uh, I will just attack and defeat this guy. Attack with. These two to defeat, and uh, Faramir to defeat this enemy. And uh, oh, yeah, we meant to travel over here because this is getting tokens all the time, and we need to get rid of it next round. And that is all the combat done. We'll go to the repress phase, we'll ready up. I will raise the threat by one for each player. Tw 31 and 25 this goes to the elves. And we have to discard one card. So we lose Galadriel's Handmaiden. And uh, in gold. So bad, bad news. Okay, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we'll get resources. One, two, three. One, three, one. I know I'm uh, exhausting the steward of Gondor in the wrong phase, I think, but don't give a damn. It, it will be get um, exhausted um, immediately when I enter the staging um, or, or the planning phase. We'll draw a card, burn, gain a resource. Oh no, um, draw a card, not in tracker. That's good news possibly want to save for that <clears throat> but first we will play Atlas so attach to a Dunedain or healer character uh, action discard Atlas and exhaust attach character to heal all damage from a character you may discard one condition attach from that character so I'll play that on to Galadrim healer I will exhaust the healer discard this heal all damage from um, Aragorn Then I think I will discard one Elven Light to get one resource on Glorfindel and discard that to heal Amarthville. I need to get that damage under control. And uh, That's everything the else. Uh, no, we'll just play that. Or do we want the Northern Tracker into play next round? Yeah, we'll get that into play next round, rather. Okay. Uh, we'll go to questing phase. We decide to quest over here. 
So this is uh, we have three here. Let's just quest with everything on this side. And uh, we'll exhaust Faramir to give this side boost. So we have 10, uh, 14, 20 against 3, 6. Uh, each player discards the top 3 cards of their deck until the end of the round. Add to the total. Nah, we'll just test of will that. So 20 against 6, so 16. This is uh, defeated and this is defeated or uh, cleared. So uh, now we, shuff uh, we shuffle the top 5 cards of our discard pile into the encounter deck. So uh, this should be over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then uh, one, two, three, four, five. Then this candle and the sneak attack there, but it is what it is. Okay, <clears throat> we'll engage this enemy. So I'll defend with uh, Amar's will. That gets. Oh, yeah, and we travel over here. So uh, while Haunted Keep is the active location, the first undead enemy revealed each round gets searched. So that's annoying. <coughs> but it is what it is. So we defend with Amar's will. Uh, five, no shadow effects. So we take two damage on. Will. <laughs> That's, that was actually pretty close. A bit bad play there from me, but it is what it is. So I will um, hit with this to defeat this. And that's it. So we refresh everything. And uh, raise the threat. And discard cards, so we lose handmaiden and descendants of Des De descendants of kings. And that is that round. We are 32 26, so let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we get resources. One, two. So I think we can play. Yeah, we can't play Baron yet, but we could play Gandalf. But I think we'll save that for that round when we get the uh, the big body of the scenario. So we start with the elves. So we'll play this guy, and uh, that's everything. We don't have. Oh yeah, the Elven Lights went back into my deck. That's that's a shame. Okay, um, we'll go questing. Uh, I will quest with everything on this side. Now we want to advance. And... Um, We'll exhaust Faramir to boost this side, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 22. Then uh, we have 0 here, so Doom 2. 
when uh, each player must either discover one card from the top of the deck for each questing character they control or remove it. Uh, okay. That sucks. So Doom 2. 28. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we lose 7 cards. We lose uh, River Song, Atlas, Heaven Light, Atlas, Protector of Glory and Gather Information and Airborne. Hammer Smith. And the second card is uh, Broken Battlement. So time 3 falls after the last time counter is re removed from the Broken Battlements. Each player discards the top 5 cards of the deck, then plays one time counter to the bat Battlements. Use this as time counters. Okay, and uh, we have 2 against 22, so 20. This is defeated, this is defeated. So, these go away. Okay, when revealed, add ta tower deal to the staging area, then reveal one counter card per player. And the end game begins, so we flip this. So, we get cursed <laughs> dead, damn it. We get all the copies. And then we get an, another encounter card, it is cursed dead. So we have all the cursed dead, but that, luckily those are easy to kill. So I will uh, use the unexpected courage ready at some point. And uh, I'll grab one of these. I will grab this on this side, and these come like so. We have a lot to deal with this round. Uh, we deal shadow cards to these. This will hurt a lot. Uh, I will faint. Uh, the attack of the tower deal. Then I will defend with this against this and uh, this against this. So we start from here. Three plus discard and attachment to control. We lose the steward of con. Oh well. And uh, that takes one one damage so the Ranger is still alive. And three against three discard the top card of your deck, attack king enemy gets plus X where X is discarded constantly that cost, so I am fearful. Yeah, uh dead. That was really unlucky. Really unlucky. So, nothing I can do about it. Um, yeah. We will resolve this side, so I'll just take one. Uh, nothing. I'll uh, deal the damage onto Chlorophindel. So, three damage. Then I'll defend with Arwen. Discard defending character if there is a copy of it. No, there isn't. Okay, so we take one damage here. Then uh, we will deal as much damage to Tarundil as possible. So everything we have left will hit that. Okay, so three, four, five, six against three, three damage. God damn it. We lost so many resources now because we lost our Amartul. So we might have lost the game here, but it is what it is. These things happen. Uh, next round, we just would have obliterated that possibly, and uh, quested 
that off, but yeah, okay. So yeah, uh, we'll go to refresh phase. Let's see. I think we might still have a chance to beat this, but not not a good one. Okay, and uh, we add threat. Then uh, we did. We don't have to discard cards anymore at the end of the round. But this moves here, so that is that round. Uh, we lose one time counter here. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we need to deal uh, six more damage onto that. Then we need to defeat that to win. But we might lose most of our board. We'll see how that goes. So uh, we get resources. We have enough to play uh, Bairn or Gandalf. Uh, no, only Gandalf. On this side, we have enough to play something. We draw cards. Galadrim Weaver and uh, Honor Guard. Uh, I can add one to. I discard. One card to add. Do I, that does, does that matter? If we have one here, then we have four, seven. That's enough for those two. So I discard. Uh, damn it! I am. I'm in the wrong order. So I'll just uh, heal. And I'll play this. And that is everything. Uh, on this side, we will play Gandalf. We will deal for. On the, this enemy. We only need two more damage onto this. Possibly we can do that. Uh, we'll go to questing. So I will exhaust Faramir. Oh yeah, we played this first uh, on the planning phase, then this. And uh, we access Faramir to boost the elves. Uh, we go uh, quest with Halbarad. Let's count this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six. So that can't get more than. I think we're good. 26. Okay. So, uh, we'll quest 1, 2, 3, and with all of these, okay, so 2, so these are 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 against 2. Nothing. So search uh, at the end of the refresh phase, each player discards top X card, their deck, their axis, the number of undead enemies engaged with them. Well, doesn't matter. And we get this. So yeah, we have, uh, we got only 5 from there, so we have 21 here, so that is easily enough 
21. We now only need to deal damage to this. So, after a uh, treacher car with the sorcerer treasure to deal from the bunker deck. No. And uh, turn. Yeah. Okay. Post as a turn to attacks and destroys a character attack. That character's control must either discard top three cards with her deck or return turn to. So, yeah, whatever. And uh, we'll put this against turn to. This against one of these. And we ignore one. Is that enough? We need to hit for... Uh, this hit for seven. That's enough. Those two are enough. Okay, so we'll just defend with that. Rather. Okay. Now we get shadow cards. On this side we're ready. Arwen. Defend with Arwen. Defend with... Uh, or just take with something else. So... Let's see. And... Uh, yeah. we just li leave that over there. So, um, yeah, we start with this, exhaust the character you control, well, that is, we'll exhaust this, this dies, so we'll discard three cards from here, one, two, three, then uh, this hits that, nothing, uh, we take two damage, and this hits nothing. I think anyone can cross if this first reveal one account cross now. Oh, dear. Okay. I think none of those are in the discard anymore. Yeah, no. They're all in play. And um, I think that hit for yeah, the, this is destroyed. Not the cleanest fight for sure, but it is what it is. This side uh, against Arwen, discard the top card of your deck at the king and plus one, uh, so plus one. So Arwen takes. Two damage. And this just hits. Attacking enemy gets. Uh, okay, so three, four, it destroys Elwin. And we reveal an encounter card. Okay, when reveal each undead enemy gets plus one counter. Yeah, whatever. So this gets plus one defense, but that's still enough. We just hit with. These two, that's game. So six damage minus, oh, seven minus uh, four is three, and that's enough. So, yeah, that is enough. We have zero damage here, all the needed here, so we can advance this and win the game. So, this was a pretty clutch game. Um, I managed to <laughs> win it at the end. Uh, I have beaten this scenario twice already before filming this, so I know I, I can do it much better, but we just got overrun with the cursed dead uh, on the second to last round, but it is what it is, but still, a win, I'll take it. Uh, hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.